As millions sheltered in place during the COVID-19 pandemic in 2020, a rare business opportunity opened up for Robert Njagi. Venye tu pet zilienda zikiuriziwa, customer wanakuja na options. Mtu anataka breed furani. We have like seven breeds. Eh? Kuko na Germany Shepherd, Golden Retriever, Boa Bell, South African Boa Bell, Siberian Husky, Great Dane, Tuko na Maltese, Japanese Spit. Dogs like the German Shepherd remain a staple among clients buying dogs for security. But changing tastes have created demand for more exotic breeds. For clients spending a fortune on an exotic pedigree, a dog's lineage is of utmost importance. Registered in a assured customer kuwa, huyo mbwa ni pure. Kama ako registered na East Africa Kennel Club. Na unregistered ni kama kubaatisha tu. To ensure his dogs produce healthy puppies, Robert breeds them only once a year. The first hit inakuja between 8 to 9 months. Lakini ufai kumpandisha. Anafaa kuanza kuzaa akua beyond one year. Every year, Robert enters his dogs into competitions. Two of his Siberian Huskies were awarded at last year's Dogtober show. Mbo watu wanapangu wa raini hivo, wanakimbia the most fastest, anashinda trophy yake. Lakini at the end of the show, kuna yule mbo mwenye ni mrembo zaidi kwa hiyo show ground. Sasa huyu alishinda hiyo kikombe ya Dogtober show. Huyu na hiyo alishinda kwa hiyo Dogtober show, alishinda the fastest dog. While large breeds are popular among people with an abundance of space, clans living in smaller spaces prefer small breeds like Havanese and Spitzes. <laughs> Bay Oliwa has owned a Japanese Spitz Chihuahua mix for five years now. Her personality, she's friendly, but she doesn't like other dogs. Uh, she's overprotective, loves attention. Yeah, but pretty much a good dog. A bit loud at times when I get uh, guests around, but she's a okay. The first time I moved here, people were scared that my dog would jump off the balcony, but no. Uh, she's never tried that before, and um, she's, I think, scared of heights. Oliwa feeds and walks her dog twice a day and takes her to see a vet every few months. And it's just regular pet food that I get in the supermarket. Occasionally, I'd give her treats here and there. Um, so walking her, I w- try walk her at least twice in a day as well, in the morning and in the evening. Um, that would be like a 30-minute walk. So we take her to the vet uh, once a year for booster shots, immunity shots. And uh, grooming, um, so I take her like twice a year as well to some gentleman who um, shaves her hair because she sheds a lot as well. While purebred and exotic dogs are fast becoming an attraction for Kenya's middle class, animal welfare experts have raised ethical and health concerns about the practice of commercial breeding. According to the Kenya Society for the Protection and Care of Animals, breeders often abandon, kill or maim old or disabled dogs. We're seeing so-called exotic breeds abandoned, right? When we see young ones, we think that they might be coming from breeders. Maybe the dog has a problem. The breeder knows that they can't sell it. Two-year-old Sky was rescued by KSPCA a few weeks ago after she was allegedly thrown off the fourth floor of a building in Nairobi. He landed on the forelegs, yeah, and those are the ones that bore the brunt. And initially we feared that um, the fracture was much more, what was bad, it's because of the, even if you look at uh, Sky, the grooming has not been done properly. So initially we thought uh, uh, we had the fracture of the humerus uh, and the ulna here, but then likely we found that it's the water was affected with the joint here. The case is still under investigation and uh, we are hoping that there will be a resolution towards it soon. Unscrupulous breeders also make false claims regarding a dog's pedigree, passing off mixed breeds as pure. People think that when they're seeing dogs named like that, they're buying a purebred dog. Uh, There are almost no truly purebred dogs in Kenya. And the only way that you can be sure that the dog that you're buying is purebred is if it has papers from the East African Kennel Club. You register a purebred dog. To ensure that dogs end up in a loving home, 
the society advises prospective owners or foster parents to consider whether their lifestyle aligns with the needs of the dogs they want. What might interest people who don't know so much about dogs is that often bigger dogs are actually calmer and need less exercise than smaller dogs. So it really does depend on the particular type of dog and also the lifestyle. And one of the things that we like to do when people come to KSPCA to adopt is we really spend some time talking to you about who you are, how you live, you know, do you have kids, are you sporty, are you, you know, sedentary, what's your lifestyle like? And then we can say to you, listen, there's a dog for everybody and we th I think we might have the dog for you. Whichever breed one chooses, the important thing is that your dog is well cared for and has plenty of food, warm shelter and lots of affection. I'm always a big supporter of our local breed. And as much as we call them mongrels or uh, mutina, uh, I mean, I lovely call them KSD, like Kenyan Shepherd Dogs. I always tell people those are the best dogs because um, they were meant for this environment. They're, they're the Toyota of dogs. If you feel like you want something exotic, it's okay, but make sure that the welfare is well taken care of. Muriel Adiambo, K24.